Hi everyone, welcome to today's Old Coin Bible. As a reminder as well, if you want to watch the full version of this Old Coin Bible where I dive into these charts in depth and also talk about higher level market structure and my thoughts around what's going on at the moment, make sure to become a newsletter subscriber on the link below. And you'll also get our new release tomorrow, which is our new top 10 portfolio, our signals, Joe's insights, and also portfolio weightings for a low, medium, and high risk investor. It's well worth, uh, you know, the, the, I think it's five to 10 cups of coffee uh, every single month if you're looking to get that kind of insight. And every single week, we have a release of the biggest news items of the month and actionable insights. So uh, let's crack in today. Means just constantly pop their heads up while the rest of the market does its thing and moves in different dynamics. But memes tend to have really big upticks, either when you least expect it or while Bitcoin and Ethereum are quiet, which is a really interesting aspect. And we have to pay attention to the meme charts and, and what is going on. Pepe just continues to fly. It may have topped out in, in a local sense. Um, and uh, Bonk as well has, I think, had a bit of a move. When, when Solana looks reasonably strong and, and it does its thing, Bonk tends to move. I'm, I'm thinking here that capital is recycling in the, the ecosystem. It's looking for the next big move, the next big chart. And the last time uh, Shiba Inu had a, a big move, it was about 300% over here, this big peak. Now she's been consolidating sideways for about 80 days. So that's a, a, about three months. And now it's breaking out with you know, higher highs and higher lows. So this is great. It's a bit of a squeeze off our, uh, off our levels there in the newsletter. It's a bit, of, bit noisy, but you can see here all these moving averages clustered together. So to squeeze off that and it's broken out uh, from the downtrend back here, but now it's you know, extended itself and it's poking its head into this new range. And if it can stay here and close above this level, then I think we do get a, a larger move to 15, 16, 17% to the top of this next range. That is the breakdown level of this choppiness up into this side here. So I uh, wanna see a few uh, four hourly closes, um, but importantly, I wanna see a daily close above that for that to, to move higher. RSI looks good. Uh, stock RSI is a little bit mature, but I'm looking at it here. It's just moving at the power zone there. Link a little bit similar here. Uh, I love Link if it can close above this uh, resistance level now, flip support. This is where Link had a 30% move back at the start of the year, broke back down. So reclaiming this level is huge. And you can see I've just circled where it broke down just there. Uh, it has just blitzed through on a daily candle. So any pullback into this region here, I'm a buyer and then she's off again. Link has this tendency to consolidate for extraordinarily long and frustrating periods of time, which can bore the hell out of people. So it's not something maybe you want to move in and out of, but more as a longer term investor, this is a bit of a signpost that Link wants to go into the high 20s uh, relatively soon. Um, we'd love to see the RSI find a bit of support here and then move into the power zone for a larger move here. So a pullback is warranted. You got the 10 EMA coming up really, really fast. So that would be great. If it can sort of pull back into this region here and grab some value before it moves higher. So Link is my one to watch. Optimism. Now with everything Ethereum going gangbusters, well, a few things going gangbusters with Ethereum moving higher, you want to watch for the things that aren't showing relative strength when Ethereum is moving higher. And that is something like Optimism, which had a, a great run before Ethereum uh, launched or announced that it was going to have the Ethereum ETF. So you want to watch the ones that did move. It's Arbitrum, it's something like Matisse and a few others in that basket. But Optimism really didn't have too much volatility. And if anything, it's just shown weakness since. It's dropped below the 200 moving average over here. Didn't break down in line with, I think, the previous old Bible I had here with its rising wedge, um, you know, a rising uh, channel rather. It broke down to about this region here. But what I don't like here is it went back above the 200, fell below again. Now it's using it as pretty fierce resistance here. That's in sort of the double bottom there. I think this wants to fall beneath, it's got beneath the, the 20 and the 21, the, the 21 EMA and the um, the 20 simple moving average. I think she wants to come down to liquidity here. RSI, stock RSI not showing me too much. So be careful with some of these L2s when everyone thinks that there's, there's all these beta plays and you want to run into them to make extra F now that F is kind of moving. You really want to be in the, the core structural asset uh, above like um, Bitcoin. So try not to make the same mistakes many did um, this time with Ethereum, as many did with Bitcoin, not getting into that and then going out to old coins. So um, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, stay tuned for our newsletter to drop tomorrow. So have a wonderful uh, day. Crack on. Bye-bye.